Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange reporting for the Media Speaks. Do make sure you go to themediaspeaks.com. Uh, it's being broadcast live. It is 5 o'clock in the morning, 7 to 2013. The low def version is going to be immediately posted on the Media Speaks, and then I will be posting the high def version as soon as YouTube uses its magic abacus to put me online. And you don't care about any of that, no. But what you care about, and watch me knock the camera off the pad, I usually print this, but my printer has uh, been like Judas, so this is the best I can do. I do want you to see it, though. Alright, friends. And then, uh, by the correct crew, Christelle, ever guiding me here behind the camera. Say hello. She's not saying hello. She's looking at me like, I am saying, I'm going to make you look like you get the dunce cap. Alright, guys, here's what's going on. The dunce cap of the month award... And if I call up the right screen, that would help. And, uh, well, I, I, well, yes. She wants me to show you the hat, but no, it's not time to show you the hat. You don't, you don't even know who, who got it yet. Maybe she'll get the hat. Uh, the CBS, and don't go, it's cbslocal.com. Don't go unless you want pop-ups in the page to refresh every 30 seconds, but if you want documentation, that's where I got it from. CBS New York. New Jersey couple facing fine over bird feeder. I thought it stopped at the deer. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the very, I think it was the first, one of the first, we're into six of these now, uh, awards, uh, winners of the Dunce Camp of the Month Award was the DNR, who were hounding people for feeding deer, or owning a deer. They actually let the deer loose. And then the D and DNR uh, has been left alone by me and this show because they have since uh, backpedaled and left the family alone. You would think that's the end of it. No, Ramsey in New Jersey is going crazy. So, uh, by the way, Krista has made this. She's dying for me to show you. It's fireworks for the 4th of July. It says, this is for the birds. And there's a bird eating a peanut. It's kind of phallic. All right, guys, here we go. A Bergen County, New Jersey couple, maybe they've been eating that too, has been ordered to appear in court for the offense... Oh, there, CBS pop-ups. For the offense of feeding the birds in their own backyard. As CBS 2's John Slattery reported, the borough of Ramsey told Annette and Alfred Rockefeller, we'll get to that, they are not just feeding the birds, they are illegally feeding wildlife. You know, I, it must be that Ramsey, <clears throat> the borough of Ramsey, is so together that this, this is not only the most pressing matter of public safety imaginable, but I mean, this is, this is your tax dollars hard at work. Alfred Rockefeller, 77, does come from the famous bloodline. Oh my god. God, I hate this site. Now it's refreshing because I shut the ads off. If you guys really want to throw your computer, you can verify this article, but yeah, I would take my word on this one. Most annoying site ever. Alfred Rockefeller, 77, comes from the famous bloodline. Well, the original John D. had a brother. I'm descended from the brother, he said. He didn't have the money, just the name. I'm going to digress here, but doesn't that prove what a jerk John D. was? If I was rich, I guarantee my brother would be rich. And now his name is on a summons from the borough, it says, Mr. Rockefeller. The Rockefellers live on a dead-end street near a wooded area where neighbors have complained that the Rockefellers' extensive feeding has attracted more than just birds. Deer, groundhogs, squirrels, and ducks have been showing up, neighbors said. Well, I'll tell you what, I, have, uh, I don't even have any, uh, I don't have any ducks because the park's a little bit of ways. But I don't even live in a wooded area. I live in the city but I have a backyard that's, I don't know, maybe as big as two average houses, it's, it's, it, but it's shared by a few people. We have all those critters back there. So, I mean, I, I'm not out there feeding them peanuts, so, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous from the word go. There was a duck lying there on the ground, and I wanted her to see that, it's, this is what it says, I wanted her to see that had run into the window because so many had taken off there, one man said. One man who couldn't talk or one other that couldn't type. 
In addition to seed in the feeders, the couple used to scatter peanuts on the ground. A year and a half ago, a town official showed up, showed them an ordinance saying birds must be fed from hanging and closed feeders. So they got four of these that hold peanuts, exactly like they were told to do. Neighbors complained and the couple got a ticket. I am in accordance with the ordinance that says that you can have hanging bird feeders, said Annette Rockefeller. It doesn't say what kind. Alfred Rockefeller, who is disabled, said feeding the birds is one of his joys. I mean, now we've got our tax dollars going after a disabled man for feeding birds on his own property. I like to sit in my kitchen and watch the birds eat because I can't do very much else right now, Rockefeller said. Well, maybe you should just be euthanized. Ain't that the way the country's going? I can sit here and watch television or I can watch birds. I prefer watching birds. Well, that's, you're not getting your dosage of mainstream media Obama worship that way. Then again, with your family history. Then again, I'm not going to go there. I'm actually on this man's side. He said the fact that his home is near a wooded area is the reason for wildlife coming around. There are more and more animals congregating there because everything else is being built up and they have no other place to go, Rockefeller said. My neighbors really don't realize what the true situation is. In other words, he saw these animals on his property repeatedly and fed them. They are not coming because he fed them. They would continue to come even if he did not feed them. <sighs> Ramsey Borough Administrator Bruce Voza, I hope you like your dunce cap, who said both sides will be in court Tuesday evening, suspected that the couple may be putting out more peanuts than the feeders can handle. I would think that those enclosed feeders don't seem like they would drop a lot, the amount of feed that would keep these animals from coming back, Voza said. Of course, they were already coming, Voza. Idiot dunce! Should the couple lose in court, the Rockefellers would have to come up with between $250 and $500 in fines. So, that makes the Borough of Ramsey the winner of this month's Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Um, this is what the uh, earlier graphic that I showed you, and once I get a new printer or uh, whatever is wrong with it, once it gets exercised by uh, a priest or something, I am going to send this to them, as I do every month, and this is what it says. This fine dots cap is being sent to you because even in a world brimming with other stupidity, I wrote, you at the Borough of Ramsey have managed to display a level of both greed and mindlessness that other idiots can only dream of. Many cities have ways of scamming money off of the people who live and work there, but you have raised the bar on all cities and areas far and wide by putting Ramsey on a level that the average greedy scum leaders in those communities can never hope to attain by choosing to not only fine and bother a family for feeding birds, but to also lie and say that the family was overfeeding. Thanks for now causing more grief in an already grief-ridden world, I close, and for being a true dunce in every way. That is the correct view. Dunce Cap of the Month Award's never been so earned. Guys, keep track of these, because I got something fun coming at the end of the year. And the more of these you watch, the more helpful it's going to be. In closing, let me say uh, thanks for watching. Please donate to the correct views if you can. You know what? T-shirts. We have T-shirts. That's right. Go to ReverbNation.com slash PassingTimeBand. Yes, I'm selling it through the band site because Reverb Nation lets you do this, and I can't open this. In that. It's a music site, so it was easier to do it this way. Go to Reverb Nation slash PassingTimeBand and buy a Correct Views t-shirt. One of them say, use the thinking part of your brain, which is like one of the best things I've ever thought of because no one ever does, or there wouldn't be a Dunce Cap of the Month award. Also, go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, make sure you click on Nitro Pack when you do, because everything you buy from them helps The Media Speaks and helps us do things. I mean, sometimes sending these dunce caps out can be anywhere from $15 to $50. So your donations are the only thing that makes that possible. Thanks for listening, friends. Good night. God bless.